so there's um, you know interesting book uh, why men like bitches that's a popular book from many years ago and and part of the whole message in that book is something I've been teaching many many years as well which is that what makes you most attractive to a man is your authenticity and the authenticity is the I have to add a caveat to it the authenticity of your female side not necessarily the authenticity of your masculine side. Let that be shown more in workplace. But what are the parts of you that you don't show in the workplace? Let that part of you uh, come forth in your relationship. And in that theme of why men like bitches, it's it's um, you know it, the, the concept there is a woman who's true to herself and she's not afraid of being herself. But it's not a woman who's masculine who's dumping on a man or trying to do everything herself. It's the flip side of that is she knows what she likes and she asks for what she wants and she doesn't do what she doesn't like and she doesn't do what she doesn't want. That's the message of that book and that's the message I have seen again and again is that if a woman uh, gives up herself to please a man, if a woman does something she doesn't want to do, doesn't like to do, doesn't feel ready to do, doesn't feel comfortable doing before she's ready – and then she's doing a gift to him for sure. It feels loving, like I'm doing this loving gift. But really, I'm coming from a place of trying to please him, and then maybe he'll please me. And you got to reverse that. He has to please me, and I respond with happiness. And my happiness is actually what pleases him the most. So that, that's a mm-hmm. lot to, to think about, what I just said, but I think maybe helpful for some people. Very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. And I think that a distinction you're making here that's really important is for many women, we might even have lost track or not really even be in touch with what our needs are. And you're making a big distinction between knowing and expressing our needs in relationship to a man and being needy. And I think that's a really important distinction. Yes, it is. And uh, in that dynamic is when we're talking about romance is what would you like to do? You talk to a guy, you just say, oh, gosh, you know, this concert's coming up. I'd love to go. Will you take me? That's a phrase. You know, not Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you. It's not what would you like to do or do you really want to go? Don't even go there. Just really what you want is... Even if you, let me say it differently, is quite often women are concerned and afraid of saying what they'd like to do because maybe yeah. he'll feel obligated to do that and he doesn't really want to do that. That That's like a real concern, whether you're in a relationship or you're dating for a while, uh, you're married even, is that women often don't express what they would like to do because they're afraid their partner will do it out of an obligation. Uh, that they'll do it just to please you, but they don't really want to do it. That's a that's a kind of thinking that is sabotages your relationship. You, if you notice that kind of thinking, you want to say that would be true if he was a girl. <laughs> See, if I, say, <laughs> right, right. If, 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 if I say to my wife, you know, I really, really want to go to this movie, and she thinks inside, okay, uh, I don't really want to go. But I'll do that to make him happy. The first few times, uh, that would be okay with her. But then after a while, she's going to say, you know, why do we always do what you want, not what I want? Um, but, see, men are different. And, um, and, and some men will whine a little bit if that was to happen again and again and again. And then you can say, well, what would you like to do? And then he says, well, let's go to this game. And you go, well, I like, I like going to those games. Or if you don't, you just say, oh, well, why don't you just go with one of your friends? I don't need to go along with you. And let it be. And, and stand your ground because otherwise he, he, he won't learn to find his masculinity. He'll get whatever he wants, what he needs, as opposed to coming from the masculine side of him, which is what he wants. And ultimately, what does a man want in a relationship? He wants to feel successful in providing for you. And, you know, I live in Marin County, and a woman was just commenting that the men here are very different. They're very needy. And and I say, yeah, you have to understand when men are needy, you, you as a woman can just say, yeah, you go do that. I'm not really interested in doing that. What I'd like to do is this. <laughs> and you do mm. what you like to do, which is why, you know, some women are afraid I'll sound like a bitch. But that's not being uh, the negative side of a, quote, bitch. 
you know, there's a side where women can be very critical of men, and, and certainly men don't like that. But standing up for yourself and doing what you like to do and not being a mother to him, not fulfilling his needs, but in a sense, let him achieve his goal with you, which is to feel successful and making you happy, to providing support for you. And then ultimately his needs are met because his primary needs uh, are not to feel that you're taking care of him. It's his primary need is to feel, uh, the bottom line is to feel appreciated. Look what he's done for you so you'll naturally feel appreciated. Don't appreciate him if he doesn't do anything for you, but don't punish him either. The thing is, is you create a space for him to be successful so that your appreciation is real. That's one. He did something and you appreciate it. The second need men have is to be accepted the way they are. And that is, if he doesn't do something that you would appreciate, at least accept that part of him. Don't punish him for that part of him. Don't withhold for that part of him. But notice, maybe that's not the right guy for you, or maybe you can accept that part of him. Or through acceptance and then appreciating what he does provide, it then brings out more in him. But we cannot seek to control our partners. No woman wants a man to control her. A man doesn't want a woman to control him. And acceptance, just the way he is, is a much bigger issue for men as, as, as for women. To be understood is a much greater need for women, is that someone really understands and validates her point of view. You don't have to understand or validate a man's point of view. As a matter of fact, too much of that's not good. Then you start becoming like a parent to him. Instead, he just needs to be accepted. Well, that's the way he is. And you don't have to, you know, if he's upset about something, don't you don't have to listen to the whole thing. You know, just accept that, you know, he's not in a good mood. He'll get through it. That's his thing. Don't go in trying to fix him or help him or whatever. Uh, so there's, because he should find that self-sufficiency within himself. Uh, that strength will grow in him, allowing you to feel more feminine. But when you feel you have to take care of him, you become masculine. You lose it, and he loses his interest in you. So then you've got the basic needs for men is to feel appreciated, to feel accepted, because they're not perfect. Nobody is perfect, but accepted as he is. And the third is to feel trusted, that you can depend on him. That's why it's so important that you ask guys to do things for you because you're depending on him. You're trusting that he'll say yes. You're trusted, trusting that he cares about you. Now, this brings us to the dynamic of in every relationship. In my book, Mars Venus on a Date, I do explore in more great detail these five stages of dating. The first mm-hmm. stage is there's this attraction stage. And, you know, he'll feel an attraction for you. You'll feel an attraction for him. They'll feel a connection. Now, you want to be careful as women not to pursue him, but let him pursue you. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation is men, because they're more in touch with their female side, they're not as confident. Their fears come up, you know, and so they don't necessarily go after you, introduce themselves to you, start a conversation with you, ask you out on a date, when really they want that. They want that. So many men do not go after the woman they're interested in, so they need a little encouragement, but not for you to go after him, but in a sense... Go after letting him know that if he takes the first step, <laughs> he won't be rejected. And that's just a, another subtlety that, you know, things are more subtle now, but they're also more liberated. In the old days, guys knew, okay, I'm interested in her. You go up and you start talking to her, and she was relieved because she didn't have permission to go up to him. But today, you know, go up to him, you know, can have a conversation, create a situation to show that you're interested in him. And, you know, hey, we can get together sometime. Don't ever ask him out on a date. But basically, we could do this. Maybe sometime we could do that. Oh, it'll be fun. You know, what I love to do is this and this. Have you ever done that? These kinds of phrases open a door for him to say, yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that. I'd, I'd love to take you there. And... Uh, and even, you know, you can be direct. We, we, I love going there. Maybe you'll take me. Would you take me there? You know, you have to find your comfort zone and you're asking. Some women can ask better than others. But asking is the key because when you ask, you're being very vulnerable. That's mm-hmm. trusting someone. Uh, most, most women don't want to ask because they're terrified of him saying no. 
it hurts when you ask and someone says no. So you want kind of open-ended requests. But as you get to know someone, you want to be specific in asking for what you'd like. Let him know what you'd like. And, oh, would you take me? Or would you help me? Or I've got this problem. What do you think? That's great conversation material is what do you think? And then what do you say when he says something? Good idea. That makes sense. <laughs> or you're right. But men love to solve problems. 